<laughs> Heathcliff, it's me, Kathy. I've come home. I'm knocking on your window. <laughs> Forgive me. It's almost Valentine's Day. One of the most sappiest days of the year. I'm sorry. But listen to her. She's an obsessed woman. Speaking of the darkness, of the cruelty, of Heathcliff, of love. So I'm going to turn her off <laughs> for another night. Ooh, the magic is in the air tonight, though. So if you would like a love spell, you've come to the right dark place to get it. Okay, you could put your thumbs down on now. But I will give you some love spells for those of you who dare, dare do a love spell on their own. <laughs> and you really don't want a witch to do a love spell for you. Because <laughs> it will be even worse for you. Love spells are something not to be messed with. Love spells are for people who already are committed. People who maybe have lost a little bit of the mystery of the sensuality. Uh, perhaps people with children that have grown into different roles with their spouse. Now they're parents together. They have different roles and the dynamics of their relationship change and they can't have that magical, sensual, sexual vibration going on when they have babies crying for their attention. So that's what a love spell is for. Um, people that need a little spice in their romance, in their life. Um, perhaps they want a little more communication, a little more playfulness. Those are the people who should be doing love spells because uh, magic should be something realistic and attainable, even though we can, as witches, mold, bend reality to our will. But a real love spell you wouldn't want. A real love spell to make someone who does not wish to be in love with you is dangerous. Very dangerous. And look who came out in my tarot card. Kali. She's a dangerous goddess. And I see her as the epitome of strength and womanhood. But she can kill. And that power, that obsessive love power can kill. And I, oh, so many of the um, requests I get in my business to do spell work for other people is for love spells. And I don't like to disappoint people. I don't like to tell them that's not a very good idea and it's not about the money. I like to take on work that um, is interesting. And to me... Um, a love spell to draw somebody in that has no interest in you. It's not interesting to me. That's, that is stalking. That is obsession. And you need to get real help. <laughs> you need to work out your, your feelings, why you feel so desperate to have this one particular person. Or what is it about this person? Is it the challenge? Do you need a challenge? Are you afraid of intimacy? So you like people that are distant, that don't communicate? Or do you have low self-esteem when we're told you are unlovable? So this person is that challenge to tell the world you are lovable. I hope those things aren't true, but these are the issues you have to think about. If you're desiring to 
uh, pay somebody else to do witchcraft for you in order to get someone to love you. Love is the most natural thing in the world. It's also the most unnatural and barbaric thing that could ever happen to you. Because love, romantic love in itself, is like being under a spell. You're infatuated. You can't think of anything else. You're obsessive. You love from the tip of your toes to the tips of your hair. You can't help yourself. You can't stop thinking of that person. It's insanity. It's temporary insanity. And real love comes with time and with compassion and with allowing the other individual to do and be who they want to be. The ultimate love is to allow someone to let go of the love if they so choose. Because you're saying, you mean so much to me that I, I allow you to go because I want you to be happy. I, I love you that much that I, I will allow you to go. But anyway, enough of my uh, Tuesday morning sermon. And I'm sorry I didn't get the spell out to you beforehand. But I was supposed to give it to you on Friday night. I said I'd be back. But I uh, had sudden plans come up for the weekend. So I'm here now. So anyway, I have a few things going on here. And I'm hoping that you'll do this to attract your partner, your mate, someone that you are in relationship with, and that you want to have a romantic Valentine's evening with, or you just want to spice up your romance any day or night. I don't, I don't like Valentine's Day because I think it makes people feel bad, people that aren't in relationships are made to feel bad, or what if your spouse died? What if you're elderly? And you're just in constant reminding, uh, being reminded by, especially in America, by Hallmark cards of how you have no love. So this spell could be for love of your children, love for your pet, love for yourself, if you so choose. And I think self-love would be a great way to do this spell. But I'm going to give you a few suggestions. I don't want to get, I'm already eight minutes into this video, but I had to put the Kate Bush song in because I always found that so completely haunting and obsessive. But if you read Wuthering Heights, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a very compulsive, obsessive, even um, sadomasochistic <laughs> um, story of strange love. Heathcliff. Heathcliff was a sadist. <laughs> Definitely the bad boy. So what do we have here? Okay, I cut an apple in half. I showed you that a few days ago. I had to cut a new one. And the beauty of the apple is it's oh so witchy that it has a pentagram right in the middle with apple seeds. Oh, how beautiful. It is a witch's fruit. So collect the seeds. If you can, get 10 out of them sometimes. Yeah, sometimes the other side. Mm, gotta go digging for those seeds. But if you can collect the 10 and dry them out and keep them in a little jar. I have a cute little jar here. Put them in a little jar just for the fun of it. No, we'll, we'll be using that. You, I've showed this um, spell before, but an apple is, of course, love. And you can cut it in half. And then, oh, I shouldn't have picked it up. <laughs> you can cut it in half. And you can put honey and sugar 
and rose petals onto the apple. It's delicious. You eat half and let your lover eat the other half. But as you're putting on the ingredients, you enhance the apple um, in a clockwise motion. Put on these ingredients. Let's see if I could do it here. I'm going to put a little bit, this is rose and sugar. Rose petals and sugar. And then with a silver spoon, I don't use anything but silver and spells. Then you'll take some of your honey and you'll drizzle that on the apple slice with your intentions. I love you, my darling. I want us to be ever more in love. Let's communicate so sweetly, erotically sensually on this Valentine's Day night and have your partner eat that half. You can put your hands in for more intentions. You could spend a few hours but put some lemon juice on top so it doesn't spoil. You could spend some time imbuing your energy into that apple slice and do the other, the same to the other slice and imbue your intentions onto this apple and you share it together, perhaps with some wine. You can also take some dry red wine. I like a Cabernet Sauvignon. And you can put a little pinch of salt. I mean salt, not salt, please not salt. A little pinch of rose petals and rosemary and sugar. Or honey and again you can stir your intentions of love sensuality sexuality devotion whatever you desire in your relationship and then you and your lover drink that wine now if it's for self-love, you could do the same. Self-love, you can make a potion to appreciate and honor all your gifts, all the beauty that you have inside you, and even love the parts of yourself that you don't love. You could do the same with the apple. Share it with a friend, have deeper friendship in your love for each other. Now, other things I have here. I have some dolls. I told you to get your cotton and get some candles. So with the cotton, let's see which which doll's better to show. This one's a little falling apart, so I'm going to show this one because it has a stick. If you can get a significant stick, like hawthorn, uh, oak, something long-lasting, but any old stick will do. Or you could get a pin even and get a cotton ball and unravel the cotton ball and make um, a doll for the figure for you and then make another doll for the figure of your love interest. This doll's falling apart, but that's okay because what we're going to do is put our intentions that we want for this romance, for this relationship, for this marriage, for this partnership. We're going to put the dolls together and they should each be holding the apple seeds that you gathered and dried and they should each have, one should have two, the other should have three for a lovely magical five. And then you can either put them together in a cauldron and um, write a petition on some brown paper with red pen, which I did, and I'm not going to show you my petition, but you can put that together like a little love letter for your love life. Uh, put some rose quartz crystals around them or some clear quartz if you have crystals 
I also like to put a little tiger's eye for strength. And you can set your intentions on them and you can place them out under the moonlight. And then when you're done and you would like to ignite the magic, you can burn them in a cauldron and they will go up rather high. You can pour some wax on them and light them up and they'll burn very high and you've set your spell on fire and that creates the magic that you desire to have happen. I also told you I have to backtrack here because I just realized I have key, key lines. So before you do any magical spell, if you really want to enhance your magic, use a lime. Um, it doesn't have to be key limes. These are the tiny ones. That's all I had. So use a lime and you roll this lime all over your body from head to toe, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. Um, you could do it in a counterclockwise motion, or you can put it over your head and all around your body. I like to roll it on my body, going downwards, counterclockwise around my body, and then you cut it, and you throw it away, and you get it out of your house, and that absorbs, the limes absorb your negativity. So you're getting yourself nice and cleansed. Then you could put salt and rosemary and rose petals together. You can grind them if you like, if you have a, a heftier salt, some kind of rock salt, or you can just combine them together and use a silver spoon to mix them or a wooden spoon and put that in a bath light some candles, you say your incantations of what you want the bath salts to do to cleanse you, to revitalize you. Also put out some candles. You can put out these big mason jar candles and some wonderful incense. You know, Nag Champa is my favorite. It's so spiritual and it takes away evil entities. That's why they use it in church. They're getting all the demons off of all of you people. <laughs> the little ball of hearts here is my offering for the goddess tonight. And what else do I have here? Oh, you can also, on your candles, you can put some, if you're a woman and you would like to attract a man, you could put me some follow me boy oil on your candles actually prostitutes used to use that <laughs> that recipe but hey it's valentine's and you want to have a hot night right um i also make these little set of dynamite chime candles you inscribe what you would like to happen some hot sex some sensuality some fire bang romance on valentine's day put some follow me boy or follow me girl oil onto it uh, you can add some herbs but just the oil will be fine put them all together wrap them in some red cord and light this up like dynamite you could do that with your dolls even get those two rolling uh, the other thing is, I like um, some of the really unusual, they're not unusual, but I save them from summertime, and my friend gave me some of these. Honeysuckle is very good and powerful for love spells to, to add in a doll or to burn. I also like to add, um, if you want to make a mojo bag with the dolls, um, you could also add some nutmeg. And put your intentions onto this nutmeg and scratch um, the names with a knife into them or the initials it's very hard to scratch and get that lovely scent mm, of nutmeg and put those with your dolls what else do I have here oh grains of paradise 
It's also called um, uh, Guinea Pea, I think it's also called. Grains of Paradise. Nine grains of these is very lucky. Um, and when you do, you can also put your petition and you can stamp it with a positive uh, sigil or stamp that you've made, especially in some Chinese lucky red ink. So that will help your spell. You can also put the spell in a jar. Um, if you want to put the ingredients in a jar with your petition paper, some grains of paradise, um, you can add some wine, sugar, honey, rose petals, shake it up. You can, um, you can put the, the seeds from the apple in here and you can put this jar somewhere inside your home or outside your home, bury it if you like. I don't really like to bury jars too much. I want to help the environment. You can also use some um, uh, bee pollen is very effective in love spells. And I think that's all I have here right now. But I'm sorry for the delay in the video. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, a wonderful day of love for yourself, for your friends, for your family. And if you have a partner, send them some love. And if you get really wild and obsessive, well, then you have a Kate Bush kind of Valentine's Day. Go get Heathcliff from the grave. <laughs> Good night, all.